Living Mission Minded by Sarah Frymuth. And the king will answer them, truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. Matthew chapter 25, verse 40. I work for an international sports ministry. We're focused on sharing the love of Jesus with every coach and athlete around the globe. We start local and connect wide. Every day, I hear incredible stories from men and women about the impact of going into all corners of the world. Great gatherings where the gospel is proclaimed and hidden moments where a spoken word heard by the wrong ears could cause great trouble in hard countries. I hear about middle school students raising money for a sister church in Asia or deep spiritual growth from one-on-one discipleship between college teammates. When hearts spark with the love of Jesus, there's no telling where it will take them. We're all invited to join Jesus in his work to reach everyone with his good news. This is the Great Commission, to go into all ends of the earth and make disciples that may begin with a small step or a giant leap. But what does it look like to be missions-minded? Do we need to travel halfway around the world and serve in a culture and environment different from what we are familiar with? Possibly, yes. Do we need to walk across the street and see how our elderly neighbor is doing? Yes, that too. Being on mission moves us down the street or down river in the Amazon, and sometimes it may be both. It involves stepping out of our comfort zones and seeking after a heart like Jesus, leaning in and looking for where he would step in to serve. And it isn't such a secret, he would step everywhere. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? 1 John 3, verse 17 What do you have right now that could be shared in service and love for another? Do you have time to serve at your local food pantry or deliver a meal to a shut-in from your community? Can you give a little extra this month to your church's new outreach initiative? If you feel a tug towards going to help in a crisis through a humanitarian organization, take steps to explore that. Whatever we do, we do it for the glory of God and the good of others. No matter how great or small, we can see every prayer, every dollar, every act of service as an investment into the kingdom of God. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. Matthew chapter 25, verses 35 and 40. As we do unto the least of us, we do unto Jesus. Everywhere we go, We have the chance to stay mission-minded with him. Let's live on mission. Who and where might God invite you to serve? Start small. Find a list of local ministries or nonprofits in your area and see how you can support one of them through giving, volunteering, or sharing about it with others.